right a week ago it was 71 degrees in kansas in december it is new year's day and you might guess it's not 71 degrees it is 10 degrees so let's go see how the greenhouse is faring and we'll do a quick walk by of the beehives the hive wrap is holding up here so it looks like oh yeah it's crusted with ice Look at that. Oh, frozen bee. Got to get these uh, stuck to the felt. Make sure you clear dead bees out. It looks like the seals are holding up here. Now, what we've done is we've wrapped all the hives put uh, sugar inside the top box we did uh, canvas uh, basically coffee bags inside to keep it warm on top um, and all the hives except three and then this one this one and this one um, we didn't do much with so it's gonna be, these are kind of our control hives. So there's nothing in this hive right here. It's just for storage. Oh, wow. Those and these. Makes me sad, but. So yeah, so these are our control hives. We'll see um, how they fare. If they make it, uh, you know, that says a lot about them because it's gonna get really cold here right now with us at about 10 degrees um, it's expected to get down to one uh, in the next 24 hours and the wind will blow and all that so anyway uh it'll be interesting to see in spring how many of these hives survive and which ones and all that so um first year doing this so we're going to be excited to to see just a little design flaw here you know when you use your regular covers and then you put this insulation and you get a little lift so you got to be real thoughtful about shoving up the uh, insulation inside making sure that when you use the canvas bags on the inside that um, you know it's held down really well but just looking at the looks of things here based on you know how I was able to seal everything so far so good uh, it doesn't look like anything's really busted loose See, I just left a little opening for each there. There's a little bigger one here. Very back here. Right. That bar hive is just for storage. So there's nothing in there, nothing living. Uh, but here we got the hive that does have bees in there. And these bees have been pretty successful so far this is just cosmetic looks like things are staying sealed oh look at this here we go ah, so see that's not good so I'm gonna get some tape I'm gonna fix this so there you have that so that's the walk by of the hives Ooh, frosty hopefully the heat stayed on at 43 degrees which is good 10 outside and we just go through some history here for the day it looks like we have been holding pretty steady in the 40s 47 48 49 50 51 so 
Yeah, you can see as the temperature outside, the upper number goes up, the inside temperature compensates. So the bad news is we are, you know, it's a, this is daytime and the goal is to be able to come and shut this heater off during the daytime and let kind of the solar activity do its job. Today is so overcast, we're not able to do that. So that's not good. But uh, the heater's kicking on here. It's just on low. So this is the 30,000 BTU propane heater. And I have this running with the built-in fan in the back here. So just that. And then in the back here we have just this box fan running. So, you know, you have just, again, the whole plan here is just to keep stuff alive. I'm gonna work in here, cleaning the greenhouse out of, you know, a bit. Um, this whole side over here, I'm gonna knock that all down, straighten it up, and just work out here in winter now that I don't have to focus so much attention on the bees. So, just keep the plants alive. Uh, one of the goals was to keep this banana plant alive. <laughs> I don't know if that goal is going to be achieved. It's looking pretty sad and it shouldn't be yellow like that. And it's just because, uh, you know, it's not a matter of just keeping it above freezing for a banana plant. You got to keep it, you know, above like 50. So, uh, you know, dipping down into the high 30s, 40s a few times won't kill a banana plant. But when it's happening, you know, night after night, then you can have a problem. Uh, here's an interesting thing I just noticed. Way up here, we have a plant that's actually blooming. <laughs> so this is, a, my mother got me this plant because it's one that you just can't kill, she said. Um, and every so often, it blooms. And it gets these white kind of buds on the end and it blooms with those pink flowers and it's actually blooming. So that's pretty cool. Um, a lot. So I'm going to get all this straightened up and organized. Uh, again, completely abused and ignored throughout the summer. So it's time to get this place back to its uh, to harmony, which it isn't right now. It's pretty messy. But um, the point of this conversation is that you can heat your greenhouse in the middle of winter in Kansas when it is only 10 degrees outside. We'll have another test at 8 a.m. tomorrow when the temperature is supposed to hit one degree Fahrenheit. So we'll see if we can continue to maintain a temperature above freezing in here, hopefully a little higher, and go from there. So, cool. So this is James with Make It Happen Greenhouse and Carps Bees, just giving you a little wintertime update. The cold has finally arrived after a much, much delayed start but it has come here with a vengeance. So, all right, back out into the cold. I do want to do one more thing, but let's check the propane levels. So I got these refilled, and right now, I think I just opened one. Yeah, that's right. So it looks like, Sometimes you can tell, if you look carefully at the condensation and the ice on here, I think we use like this much propane. And this tank is the only one open. And we're still looking at a level there. You can see that. All right. This gauge never goes all the way full. I don't know why that is, but uh, that's actually good. So it just shows we got a good amount of propane in here, and this one should, should say, should be lower actually huh i don't know i don't know why it's showing because i don't have this one open i only have one open but yeah here's the setup for the propane I mean, seems to be working good i'm gonna use i was keeping both the large tanks open but what i realized was as they both get lower it doesn't give me the opportunity to keep them out while i switch it out so i'm gonna just keep one open run it down really low then I can go ahead, open the other one, take this one, go get it refilled, etc. So that's just a little net there, but that's kind of important on these cool days. So, all right, one more little pass just to give you a sense of how really cold it is here. And try to make sure I don't cover the lens with my 
finger. Sorry if I did. All right. So there you have it. This is James signing off from Carp's Bees and Make It Happen Greenhouse in a freezing cold Kansas. Hope everyone has a great new year. Thanks again. Hey, on behalf of myself and the bees here, we just want to say thanks for watching our videos. If you have a chance, please click subscribe. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see, go ahead and put it in the comments section. Thanks again.